audio thing. There we go. Now I'm going to tweet it. Then tweet. Boom. Okay, almost done. Sorry. Uh, so when I uh, start up Dark Souls, you said go into offline mode? Uh, not yet. We okay. can do that later. Oh, okay, later. Grotch. After we're done with the DLC area. Gurge. All right, gurge. Unless you want to... Unless you want to test your metal in PvP. No, not really. Um, <laughs> continue. <clears throat> Last Probably thing I want to do is test anything in PvP. Yeah. Alrighty. Baxter. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, hey, Amber. Thank you for joining. Okay. Now. Gotta walk all the way through the to the boss arena, cause I oh yeah, cause you mentioned there's a high stealthy. <laughs> Only played like half an hour of Dark Souls. It's understandable. It's a very difficult half hour, I'm sure. Yeah, once you get to the boss room inside of it and to the left is kind of a hallway that leads to a bonfire hell yeah that's piggies pogarinos pogaroni and cheese oh it wasn't that difficult just playing too many games yeah understandable Who's the who's the chump in the middle of the boss arena? Yes, you you'll have to find out. The soul of the man. He was a. Would oh, you dear be willing friend. to part with it? Am I willing to part with it? Probably. Thank you. Please take this. Dark silver tracer and a gold tracer. Lord, gu Lord can guide nothing. Okay. Yo, Shell Shock, what's going on, my man? Alrighty, so. Oh, there's the bonfire. Let's sleep at it. Alright, there we go. Feeling good. <laughs> Alright, so. To the right are some stairs, and there's a fog door. The gazebo, it's called. That's uh, kind of a PvP like area where you can get queued up to like fight people in for real, like consensual PvP. Ah, I'm good. In, in the guise of like a duel kind of arena. Gotcha. And I'm assuming it's like, the same assholes just backstabbing. Uh. You'd probably find more, like, legit PvP setups, opposed to, like, one-shot class cannon builds to troll people. Yo! Thank you for the bits! That was not a staircase. That was not a staircase. 
that was not a staircase. <laughs> that's not a staircase. Well, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, it's all right here. Yeah. There should be a door kind of up there that you can't access yet. You have yeah. to get a key. Yeah, I walked up to it and it said, oh, it's locked. You need a key. Yeah, we'll get that kind of, I believe, at the next bonfire in the zone. Ah, gotcha. Back down the stairs. Got to restore my humanity. Oh yeah, my, boy. my sign should be by the bonfire. Not yet. Although I hear some snarling. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, there it is. Got it. Join me, my brother. Get backstabbed. Franked. Alright. Let's go. Not so flaming now, are you, Amarant? Yeah, right. Oh, hey. There's guys over here. I should help you out. Oh, wow. You got him. Nice job. You're doing great, Stealthy. I'm proud of you. These chumps. <laughs> Amberant. <laughs> Boo her. Boo what her. <laughs> Eventually I'll do this. I mean, Dark Souls is fun and we've been doing a co-op, so... Uh, wait, can you only do two at a time or can you do multiple people? Uh, you can have... I think you can use an item that can let you summon up to three people total. Up to three other people? So... F oh, no. NPC invader. Oh, NPC. Gotcha. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. With a name like Chester, I figure out... Oh, he shot my ass! Ah, and my hip! What a dick. I've learned very much from PvP. Glad I could help. <laughs> oh, what happened to his stuff? It went away. Pretty sure this chest is a mimic. Yeah, be wary of chest. I, I got it. Mimics ain't shit in my house. Yo, can't... Oh my <laughs> can't believe this game's gonna be 10 years old later this year. Oof. Oof. Don't, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. That hurts. That's, like, information that's cursed. What did it come out on? The N64? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Is that a reference to something? It's so old. Uh, can you do multiple people only if they can send? <laughs> My back just went out. <laughs> oh, you clipped you clipped me getting shot in the ass. That's great. I'll post that to Twitter later, that's funny. I know not a lot of people watch our Dark Souls streams, but like, I really appreciate just like how many clips I've gotten out of it, because they're all very fun. 
this area should be interesting. Lots of enemies. which we can't even get to. Where do they laugh like Mark Hamill? <laughs> you wanna know how I got these eyes? <laughs> so uh, what was the, uh, the blood curdling scream? I feel like uh, I'm privy to that information. I don't recall. Great. I'm sure that's good. Wonder where this leads to. Upward. I love doing oh. the head binging. Yep. Okay, so that's a shortcut. Nice. Convenient. Oh, goodbye, stealthy. Did I fall? Oh no, your character like just didn't come with the elevator, so <laughs> <laughs> you just like were floating up there while the elevator kept going. I was like, well, nice to nice to have you here. Ooh, just slow oh. Okay, you know what? That mage has to fucking go. Yep. You too. Fuck. Fuck! This is the problem with big boy status. You get disconnected from your friend when you're playing Dark Souls. <laughs> you know what, though? We just got that shortcut, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Alright. Need to... Ooh, what's a guardian soul? I think that's the boss that we fought when we first entered the DLC. Ah. The weird chimera thing. Hell yeah. Humanity restored. Wait, there's no like clue. there's like a shiny pouch on the ground? What is that? Great, it's garbage. Yeah, I believe that's called a drift item. Basically, somebody in their own world dropped an item mm -hmm. and was never picked up before they left, so it got sent to another person's game as rubbish. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if it gets sent to enough people's games, then it turns into an enemy that drops humanity. You know what? I helped. Fuck it. I win. Yep. Heal. Hey, there we go. <laughs> uh. Just top you up. <sighs> I want to get fucking pot shotted again. <laughs> you cannot advance. Uh oh, that was close. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I just saw you rolling towards the edge. Oh, uh, yeah. That was that was pretty gnarly. Round two. All right, I'm running through, and I'm going to get that fucking mage. Nope. Oh! 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 So how'd that go? Fuck. This game is how it went. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That sucks, dude. <laughs> Perhaps a more systematic approach is no. required. No, not no. I don't I don't I don't listen to system of a down. I don't do that. <laughs> I know music. References Alright, there we go. Back up on human status, boys. Attempt number three. Alright. 
Uh, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, what was the math that the guy did in that video? Uh, was like, what's I the think percent chance of us winning this time? Yeah, he, he was basically telling him the odds, and he's like... <laughs> he, he was like, eh, I don't, I don't think... We have like a 30% chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> just crunch the numbers real quick. Yeah, he's like, let me let me just crunch the numbers real quick. Uh, yeah, looking about a thirty-five point six percent chance repeating. It's not looking great, gonna be honest. Uh, and then the one guy's just like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> it's like, why are we even doing this area? It's like Leroy needs his boots or something. You're like, oh god. Oh yeah, it's like a single drop from an enemy is all they wanted. Take cover! God, get out of the way, you shitty! Shitty. That was shitty. I hate so much about what this game is. Uses to be. It's really bad netcode, I'm gonna be honest. We keep disconnecting, I'm not a fan of it. I just found out that humanity is closer to the bottom of the list than the top of the list, so now I can just hit up instead of down nine times. Now my phone's blowing up. I don't know who's blowing it up or why, and I'm not, I'm not a hondo on it. Oh, I'm not all. Oh, oh right. I, all right. I just did that. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, I can see your ghost at the bonfire. Oh, that's nice. It's probably a very handsome ghost. Yep. Very, very big weapon. <laughs> nothing. I don't give a shit. So, like, stat-wise, I'm pretty much, like, where I'm gonna be for the rest of the game, right? Uh, you'll probably get a couple extra levels to put into, like, health and stuff, but as far as damage goes, yeah, strength scaling isn't really gonna do anything past level 40. Rotch. Alright. That's fine. Two for one, baby. Two for one. You can get bopped. Ow. Get out my stuff. Got it. All right. Sweet. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Is there a cliff over here? Let me just... Let me just get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Here. Maybe I can just probably a little yep just yep just yep nope okay hang on whatever fuck it i'm done this bit's dumb wow what are you whistling for stop, stop it you're gonna attract more mages <laughs> just gotta kill that enemy and then there should be a bonfire let's do this oh my god are you all right dude you seen better days. Spin. Spin. Ow. Jump attack. Nice. Did dude that looks like the uh, chain mail and leather gloves. Hmm. Uh, that dude looks like the uh, that scientist from RE2 that like turns into a giant monster. Down. Whee! 
How are you faster than the elevator? So fast. Be that. <laughs> Wait, what what did you just say? <laughs> So fast, eat ass. Hell yeah. I support that lifestyle. Bonfire. Yeah, it's a bonfire there. Oh, before I go. Oh. Just gotta find the item. I think it's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Oh, what is that for? Can you pick that up? Yes. Cool. Let's uh, access a boss or an uh, optional boss later uh do i have to equip it now no nah, you can do it later okay cool thank you no problem gotta find the thing that lets me leave you can never leave we're within dark souls forever yeah, i can just throw myself off a cliff goodbye <laughs> Planet needs me. <laughs> I, I just love the. Uh, I don't want a menu for another five seconds. Bye. <laughs> that was very good. I have died. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> Bloom. <What? Bling. laughs> I wonder if I can level up. What? I'm 30,000 short. <laughs> Wonder why. Oh, that's like, uh, there's a guy here that looks like a box art guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, place my sign down pretty much by the area where I jumped off. are you anyway uh 87 ah gotcha why eh, just wanted to know Let's see how it is totally not at 125 all right <laughs> hang on one second just making sure I'm all decked out. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. The robe, the robes are no more. I am now cool-looking knight with spikes. of the abyss. No. <laughs> I ran over it. Just die. There we go. Got it. So that's Winkling a lot of titanite. And a white titanite shard? Is that good? Uh twinkling's good for a lot of like strange kind of special weapons. <laughs> Just die, please. Thank you. Dark bead. Yeah, it's a uh, sorcery. Nice. Ooh, what's sparkly on the ground? Prism stones. You can kind of lay them down to, I guess, kind of act as like a breadcrumb trail. We don't need those. I have a 
map friend with me. <laughs> Who knows absolutely everything about Dark Souls, no questions asked. Now if we look to our right, we'll see a bunch of humanity. Oh, they don't look very human to me. Can we kill it? Yeah, we can. Ah, it hurts me! Ah, fuck! Ah, ow! Get, ah! What did I do? Do I get anything for doing it? Uh, they can drop humanity sometimes. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Okay, hang on. This is, this is not great. Yeah, they basically do damage by walking into you. Or I guess, floating into you. worth a lot of souls. Nope. Well, that sucked. <laughs> so, wait, how does magic in this game work? As far as, like, being able to use spells? Or... Yeah. That's tied to your int stat, so if you have enough intelligence, then you can use or equip spells. Whereas, with Miracles, you have to equip or have a high faith level. Then you can attune them at the bonfire for which ones you want. Gotcha. Is there like a mana cost then, or...? Uh, you just get a certain amount. In the third game, you had a mana cost. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so down there's the boss fog, but before we do that, we'll go back through up a level and check some stuff out. Sure. <laughs> Fucking yeah. humanity. I swear to God, I've never been angrier to see you. <laughs> White Titanite slab. Hmm. Can we make that jump? Probably not, right? White Titanite is used for leveling up stuff with a faith scaling kind of attribute. Ah, nothing I'm using. Nip. Soul of a hero. You look underneath the boss fog you can see a preview of the boss oh a little eyeball guy there mm -hmm. yeah. back up the stairs we go There's, a, there's an item over here. Hang on. Go ahead. Ooh, twin humanity. There we go. Nice. That's poggers. Pretty handy. spot over here. Yep. Hey, no damage. Let's go. Help me. Carving. Yeah, it's a consumable item that you can basically use and drops a little sound bite that says help me. Some 
pretty big boys. Such large boys. Units, as one might say. <laughs> Absolute. Unit. Secret boys going on here. That's the starting area. We'll go yeah. back. <laughs> Looks like this guy tried to follow us. Put an abrupt stop to that. <laughs> Not allowed. Finally hit him eventually. Tears ahead. Lots of humanity around here. It's the pup! Doggo. Pupper! I like dog. Cleansing Great Shield? <laughs> Wait, let me check that out real quick. What is that? It's a pretty big boy shield. Some nice uh, fashion souls you got going on there. Yeah. Um, stat wise, it's like not great. And it like barely bumps up my defense, so I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, it's got, if I recall, it's got some really good magic defense, but. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, that's cool, but I'm good. I <laughs> believe this leads to an elevator that goes up to like the forest just before the Artorias fight. Oh, wow. It's a pretty nice checkpoint. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. that shield was Artorias's. Oh, that you nice. just picked up. Yeah, I don't think we need that shortcut. Yeah, so now we can do the boss. Hell yeah. Got some more humanity. We're clean. Probably want to rest at the bonfire and get our Estus back up. Yeah. Sounds good. This way? <laughs> yep. Might be a good idea to kindle the bonfire. Oh. Is it a tough boss? It could be. <laughs> could be. Haven't, Great. Haven't fought Manus too many times, so... Manus? Manus. Oh. Gotcha. Way. Oh, nope, just a bunch of dead bodies. This way. I go. Goodbye, friend. Oh! <laughs> you didn't want a menu again? <laughs> nope. Faster. Speed. <laughs> Save the brains. Uh, Kindle, you said? Probably a good idea. Offer humanity to Kindle. There we go. 
Wow, it really only costs one humanity to do that? You can do it multiple times. Ooh. Up uh, to 20 Estus, I think. Oh, so I can just max it out right now? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, 15 or 20 would probably be the best. I'll go with 20. I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. Oh, there's just a dude who looks like a pile of shit with a hat on. He's doing good, though. I'm proud of him. Alright. Oh, it's there's your sign. It's neat how you can see kind of people's, I guess, characters around the bonfire. Yeah. It's like a really nice like, touch. Throughout the level, you'll see them as kind of like ghosts or transparent ghosts. So once you get around the bonfire, they actually kind of become detailed. All the humanity came back. And a mage. Alright, well, I'm just gonna walk away from that. I don't wanna deal yep. with that. <laughs> Best avoidance. She shot me twice, though, so I'm like, eh, well, here we are. These little ones are the fucking worst, because you can't... Oh, fuck you, I hit you. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so there should be uh, some inside of the boss arena. Oh, nice. Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's see, That's boys. The Well, that is a long way down. <laughs> oh, it's back. The, it's the grabby hand that brought us here. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what, what if the cutscene played it that it just pops up the text you died? <laughs> oh. Oh shit, this is a big boy. Yeah, right. Alright. Alright. Dropping in. Summoning Phantom! Summoning! It's the dog! Just got uppercut it. Is there a part of the body I should be attacking or no? Don't think so. Okay, good. Everything's valid. I can't move. do. Even when I hit him, I only do like 200 something. Yeah, I'm doing 150. I guess it just has a good resistance to divine. He has Get no him. resistance to pups. Get him, doggo. Can the doggo die? It can. Putting in the work. Oh 
no, not magic. No, no, what? You should not be able to attack me after that. Fuck you. Trying to take aggro. Sick dog. Is there a cliff in this arena or no? I don't know. I assume so. Great. Who's a good, good pup? Dog. Who's a good pup? I love a good pup. Yeah, good. Yep. Okay. She's still like a crying lady on the ground. She's all right. I'm gonna light the bonfire. You got anything else to say or you just... You just... Hmm. Uh... Okay, I'm good. I don't need to talk to you anymore. First try, boys. Let's go. First try. Alright, uh, now I'm just like in a big smoke arena now. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the final boss of the DLC. Oh, well that's probably why he had such huge defense then. Yeah, there's still the optional boss, but well probably do him later. That's fine. Yo, that was tight. Mm -hmm. Night. Now yeah, what? You can, really, you can really tell that this was around the time that like they were starting to do work on Bloodborne. Oh yeah, because that, that guy was totally a Bloodborne boss, right? Like, he reminds me of... Uh, what is it? That one on the bridge? It's not... I don't know if it's a boss. It's like a like a werewolf dog thing with a giant arm. Like Greeches shoots... a bunch. Huh? Greeches a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Oil it's packed. it's like... It's like before Gascoin. It's before him. Yep. Yeah, I don't... I don't know where I'm going. I just... I, I've been running in circles. Do I just teleport out of here? Or what's the deal? Yeah, teleport... Where do you need me to go? Uh, trying to think. I guess we could finish Seekmire's quest line. Sure. Where's Where's that at? To the Chaos Bonfire. Daughter of Chaos. Mhm. Mm You'll want to go to the Great Hollow. The big tree. Oh. Okay. Alright, uh, big tree. Where's that at? Uh, it's, uh... Through the swamp. Yeah. Not like a hondo on that swamp, gonna be real. Hmm. It's not too bad when you just run past everything. But, yeah, yeah, I guess it's fair. Sadly, the zone doesn't have a boss, so you can't really summon me into it. Mm. Although it is pretty straightforward. You just go down the tree without falling off. Mm.
run down the right side. Oh. Caught on shit. It's my job. Not the right way. Alright, there we go. seeing somebody do a Dark Souls kind of max aggression level kind of run for all enemies. Like, if they could physically see you, like, if there was nothing obstructing their view, they would, like, you know, aggro. And the blow darts could hit you in Blight Town all the way down in the swamp. Oh, wow. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, a great club. Big strength weapon. Probably not as good as your dragon axe. Nothing is. So, am I going the right way then? Or? Pretty much as long as you're going forward past the, uh, like, bonfire kind of culvert area. Like, if you remember where Siegmeier was. Uh, kind of around here somewhere? With the moss and the leeches. Not like a good landmark to see. Oh, I see. There it is, to your left. Oh, where that item is over there? You should see like a kind of tree. Oh, the tree. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh yeah, this area. <laughs> and past the chest. Yep. Well, it's nice and bright in here too, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, after getting out of the dark swamp. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Insert Shrek meme here. Oh wait, could I have warped here this whole time? I don't think you can warp to the Great Hollow, no. Okay. Garage. Alright. Although at the very, very bottom there should be a bonfire. So, Although, we'll just walk that way then? I don't think there's any reason to ever go back after completing Siegmeier's questline. Oh, really? Yeah. There's some dragon scales at the bottom, but that's about it. Ooh, well, I mean, I need those, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's like two or three just like items that you can pick up that are dragon scales. So you might just see like plus 150 souls. It's like, yep, that's an enemy that just fell off the side. Path and go burr. Alright, I don't know what these fucking gecko looking assholes are, but like, y'all need to like fuck off. Yeah, 
Get out of here. Fuck you. Alright. Let's see. Where am I going? items and stuff. I want the items. Cool. 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 You better put a fucking bonfire here, you assholes. <laughs> no way am I dealing with this fucking horse shit again. Uh, should I have uh, re hollow or unhollowed first or no? Nah. Okay. Because I know you said this area is like kind of a not really a thing for co op, but figured I'd ask. You can only co op in areas that's have a boss in the area so don't have to worry about getting invaded or anything like that here cool although on the flip side you can't summon anyone if there isn't a boss so yeah true well i just picked up my souls again and i just realized i should probably level up because i have like ninety thousand of them so <laughs> that might be a smart idea like, I don't know. I, I just don't really think of it when I'm beefy boy status, you know? Indestructible. No, sir. Even the smallest breeze might indestructible. <laughs> Alright, going back up the tree so I can level up. It's fucking branches. <laughs> Messing with the camera. One level up, and I got all my main stats to uh, to forty. Nice. <clears throat> all right. Let's try this again. Okay, well. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um. <sighs> Back down we go. I swear to God, Dark Souls 4, if you have any shit like this, I'm, <laughs> I'm not buying you. the name of the other Souls game that's coming out? Uh, Elden Ring. Mm, yeah, the, the R. Martin game. Mm -hmm. The George. Supposedly we're getting stuff soon because they have marketing material for it that's been like slowly leaking out. Like trailers and stuff like that, but apparently they like they just kind of want to make sure they like are able to work on the game and then, like COVID and everything, you know? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought like a month or a month or two ago we got some stuff, but 
I don't know, that was a lot of, like, two-year-old alpha build stuff, so... Yeah. It's not exactly relevant. Yeah. Cool, cool to see, but it's definitely, you're right, it's not relevant. Although it is an interesting idea to have, like, a Souls game that's more... I don't know about open world, but more open in nature. More populated. Yeah. Souls game with souls in it. Yep. Well. <laughs> don't know what happened there. Eventually, we'll get down. I'm sure you're just chilling at that bonfire right now. You're just like, yep, waiting for this jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Nailed it. Alright, come on now. Oh! We're good. That's where the geckos are, and I don't want to fight those. You don't need a new cell phone plan. Yeah, right. Switch to Geck. Alright, man. You know what? <laughs> this fucking game is getting my goat right now. Perhaps a different area. No, it's fine. We're working on it. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's not like I'm really losing anything at this point. That was only 30,000, and bosses give like double that and then some, so. Yeah. Why isn't there just a straight shot down? Why is there a hole in here? Why? What? And I keep seeing those f fucking little jelly ball things. Oh, thank God I got it back. Uh, those like little, you know, those little shit asses that like give you tight night and stuff. Oh, the Titanite lizards, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice that in the remaster, they respawn if you don't kill them. Whereas in the original, if they got away, they were gone forever. That sucks. Yep. Oh, scary. Hey, plus 400. <laughs> At least the enemies are having just as hard of a time as you are. Red chunk. Uh. Yeah, that's for upgrading fire weapons. Spiked. Mid-air, bitch. Slap. And y'all geckos in your fucking... Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Goodbye. Alright. Now that yeah, I saw a ladder over. Yeah, Here. there should be a ladder. Big ladder. At the very bottom, there should be some mushroom enemies. And the big ones are kind of infamous for having a really strong punch. Gotcha. 
Yeah, you better give me a lot of these large souls of a whatever because I'm gonna <laughs> use the shit out of these. Jokingly referred to as one punch mushrooms. <laughs> oh boy. I wish I could pause because I have to sneeze. You know what? That'd be a feature I want in Dark Souls 4. The ability to pause for five seconds. <laughs> Only five seconds. Well, it's a consumable. Yeah, it's a consumable pause. It's just like, time stop, and then, like, that's it. Freeze. No, I'll show I do believe that, like, in the Demon Souls remake, although there isn't a pause button function, if you're offline, you can do, like, the camera mode thing, which does oh, pause the which game. which pauses, yeah, which inadvertently pauses the game. And it also lets you walk, like, a couple meters from, like, where you are, so you can, like, check around corners and stuff before you proceed. That's funny. That's, like, so a cool little unintended, like, quality of life improvement right there. Oh, oh boy, these guys, these, these guys look like they fuck. I'm, I don't wanna. Oh. Holy shit, no! One punch room, no. I am not Probably. losing to these fucking guys, goodbye. Goodbye. Probably. Probably best to just run around them. Yeah, I'm good. They're quite slow. <laughs> You're just about there. Oh, hey. Fog door. Do I go in the fog door? Mm hmm. Alright, I was about to. I, I was wondering if there was a bonfire before the fog door or not, because I didn't find it. You know, once you go through the tree trunk to the right, could be a bonfire. <gasps> there it is. Gimme, give gimme give that bonfire. Oh, Sigmar, you're so beautiful. But I gotta look at this fucking bonfire. Okay, hang on. Sorry, dude. Hang on. Just, yep. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh no! Which one died? My father. Oh, hello, man. No. He died. A tight night slab. Can we get an F in chat? Yeah, F in the chat for our fucking boy, for our fucking marshmallow boy. Yeah, thank you, stealthy. You're already in the call. You could have just said that. <laughs> uh, should I humanity now? Sure, if you want. Well, uh, it was a... Would you recommend it? Because I'm going to need it soon, or no? Eh, not at the moment. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll beef up my humanity a little bit. Yeah. You said having better humanity gives you, like, items and shit, right? The more humanity you have on the top left counter increases some of your base defenses and your item drop rate. Nice. And certain weapons, it increases the damage. Alright. There we go. Feeling good. This fucking... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's music playing, but I don't... Hang on. I'll tab out of here. Properties. Okay, there we go. Is there some shenanigans with the soundtrack? Uh, no, uh... I think the game audio has been off this whole time. <laughs> Would have been nice to know about that, but oh well. Oh, the Hydra! It's back. Round Do I have two. to kill it again? Uh, I mean, 
it would be handy to traverse the zone if it wasn't alive. Alright. Come on, you sack of shit. I believe killing it gives you a dragon scale, which should be nice. How far in this lake am I allowed to walk? Not very far. Souls. Can't prove it. Oh, well, he pot shotted me with water. Great. Oh, come on, fuck you. This is painful. I hate this. <laughs> Why? He's almost dead. Give me that. Oh, wait, are we good? Yes. Yo, two dragon scales. All right. Clean. Oh no, the clams. So the clams are dead. I just keep walking along the, the beach. Yep. Yeah, it's a bunch of walking, but at the very end, there's a bonfire that you can warp to, so it's pretty handy to get. In the event that you, for whatever reason, want to come back here. Is there any reason I would ever want to come back here? Um, there is a covenant here, but I don't see you doing PvP stuff, so... Nope. A little secret? A little secret hidey hole? Oh, a little gecko boys. Two for one. Let's go. Hog. Ah! You. Oh, you. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, he uh, he gets bopped pretty easily by my big boy swings, so I just have to keep swinging on him. Swing first. Swing first. I just pushed him off the cliff. 400 souls, thank you. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a neat little little uh, side path there I took. Oh, another clam. Tight night, there we go. Oh, I also just realized I haven't recorded this session at all. Aren't you on Twitch? Yeah, well, I recorded locally. That way, I could just upload it immediately. So now I'll just I'll just have to re-download it and then upload it. Gotcha. Are we live? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're live. I can at least tell you that much. Oh, hey, bonfire! Are we Dark Souls? Dragon. The PvP covenant. Can I talk to him? Yeah, you can join. Do I want to? No reason not to. You can always exit out of that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna... Wait. Where am I going? If you actually go behind the dragon, you can cut off his tail. Oh, what do I get? Get a great sword. I could just swing and I'll be okay. Yep, he won't aggro or anything like that. Ooh. What are we looking at stat wise for that? I don't know. I've never used it. Yeah, so for the PvP covenant, you basically invade people. Or rather, you place a sign down, and they summon you to, like, do PvP. And if you win, then you get a dragon scale. Which you can then use to, you know, level up your dragon weapons. Okay, so I'm looking at this dragon greatsword. And, like, right now it's not buff, but if I were to upgrade it, would it be buff as hell? I don't know how many dragon scales you got. fully upgrade your dragon axe? I don't think so. Because that's probably your priority at the moment. Yeah, probably. Alright, so where am I going now? Uh, we can either do an optional boss in Anorlando, or we can try to fight the doggo. Um, which would you recommend? Uh, we could do the fight the doggo. Okay, we'll go fight doggo. Doggo get fought. And where's the doggo at? I believe you want to go to the undead parish. And do you have 20,000 souls on you? Uh, I can get... yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Uh... Andre, the blacksmith, should have an item worth 20,000 souls that opens a door further into the area. Gotcha. Alright. Oh. 
go. What up, beefy? Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything for? It should be under the items. Purchase this item. Uh, rest. Yep. The crest of Artorias. Cool. And uh, can this guy do anything for me, like reinforce weapon or anything, or no? Yeah, you can reinforce your weapon or your armor while you're there. Assuming you have the souls. Oh, I don't have the souls for it, but um, I could get the souls for it. Go and get yourself killed. Neither of Yeah, don't, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I dressed myself today. <laughs> Go from 530 to 570. It's pretty strong. All right, and that and that's maxed out now, right? Yep. That is the beefiest of boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, where to? You'll want to go pretty much out the door of that room to the garden area. All the shrubs. Oh, okay. Like the fortress, right? No, the uh, garden. Like, you remember where we fought the Titanite demon? Or the Moonlight Butterfly? In Andre's room, there should be a staircase going down. Oh, gotcha. Okay, because I went back to the bonfire, so when you said the door in that room, I went out that door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, my bad, my bad. This is the coming up once we get to the bonfire. This is the area where you'll probably want to be offline for a bit before you join their covenant. Okay. Oh, should I go offline now then? Eh, once you get to the next bonfire. Okay. Dark. whip my ass as I walked by. <laughs> so damn beefy, they can't hit me. Oh, this is the door. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, type bonfire. Oh, enemy. God, fucked. At least give me the item. Thank you. Now get out of here. Um, is there an enemy nearby? Or? Are what? you being invaded? No. I haven't seen an invaded message. Okay, there we go. I guess there was an enemy, like, stuck around a cliff or something. Okay. Alright, now I'll go offline. Yep. How do I... Network settings? Yeah, it should either be in there or when you go to the main menu. 
or the title screen it should be like start in offline mode or something like that all right so i have the settings set to start offline so now i'll quit game i already slept at the bonfire game will start in offline mode great wait and now i'm a beef boy that's off the grid Can't be tracked. And now to open the door? <laughs> what a pleasant area. I'm sure nothing deadly will show up. Yeah, I believe you'll want to progress forward and kind of hugging the left side. Yeah. There'll be some humanoid enemies there. Sure were. You said the left side? Yep. Like the cliff? Yeah, I think you wanna just follow that kinda forward. Oh, there's a guy over there. Yeah, you'll eventually come up to a kinda building with a big door. Or a big opening. <laughs> that dude ran up to me with his little boy axe and he's like oh I'll just kick him over and over it's funny and I'm like oh yeah real funny ain't it get bonked oh oh I what I, hello thank you okay if you go back from where you came across the bridge Go back this way? Okay. Yeah. On the right side. In, in the first room, there should be like a cat's NPC. Is it not so that thou art new? Your voice, thou fared once well again, to find does not match what your body is. But comest not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice, the legend of art traversing the... Have thine own respect. What is my decision? Yes? I think yes. Well, indeed. I'm Alvina. I command. I'm probably going to get oh. like stabbed. Uh, what is my decision? I, I think yes again. Now. Join Covenant? Yep. I'm going to pray to you, magical fat cat. And here, taketh this ring. The cat if covenant thou, ring. If fen I shall thou a but that's a clap death. What was that? Am I fighting an NPC? Yeah, are you? I don't know. Because I got invaded by like somebody who isn't a part of the covenant. Oh. But they're acting so weird. Huh. Uh, is it Havel's ring or the ring of favor that breaks? Uh, ring of favor. Does the oh the cat covenant ring does that do anything or? Nah, you don't need that. Oh, okay. I thought I needed it. As long as you're a part of the covenant, you can't be invaded by forest invaders. Oh, so now I I could go online if I wanted now. Yep. I'm gonna head back to the bonfire then and do that. Yeah, yeah just clowned on some invader. <laughs> nice. Gave me 40,000 soul. Oh my god. I don't know what they were doing. They were just using like a bow and arrow. Maybe they were trying to like be cool? Maybe. I don't know. They kept on trying to use pyromancy while I was up in their face. <laughs> so I'm like, is an invader? Or is, like, like, is this a person? <laughs> <laughs> is this human? Is this hummus? my sign down at the bottom of the stairs inside of the zone once you go back online
right, there we go. You said you place your sign down around here? Yeah, it should be at the bottom of the stairs, kind of inside of the zone. Oh, okay. Someone sign disappeared. Putting it back down. Uh, as soon as I... There's a Gravelord Servant sign? Do not touch that. No. That lets you basically invade their world to try and kill them. Ah. Every now and then it's like, is it working? <laughs> Should I try again? <laughs> yeah, so we can still technically be invaded, just not by the Covenant. So that uh, narrows down. Why isn't he aggroing me anymore? Because you're a part of the Covenant. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Dark Spirit Shrimp has invaded. Shrimp! I thought you said we couldn't be invaded. We can't be invaded by people oh, inside the Covenant. Whereas people that are just invading with a, like, regular invading thing can still invade. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> prank. Get up there, shrimp. <laughs> he, he tried to get you too, and he's, he just rolled to his death. Yeah. I think you can talk to this guy. I've heard all about I love you. I only that's about. Don't worry. Great to have you with us. Good hunting. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure at some point he'll kind of open up a little store in Blighttown. Okay, yeah, there are enemies here. I was like, there are enemies, right? Like, just a bunch of weird cat people hanging out. The one punch rooms. That chest is safe. Ember. If you want to make your weapons have magic damage. Would I want that for my sword or my axe or no? No. I, I don't think you can do it with dragon weapons, but even if you could, your weapon's faith skipper is strength scaling. You don't really have all that much int. Yeah, but you didn't kill the mushroom. Yeah, they give like, what, 50 souls? That's 50 I didn't have before. So there's the boss arena. Oh, that was quick. So because we did the DLC, there should be a alternate cutscene. Tears ahead. Imminent tears. Grief ahead. Open door. Now, where did you see that message before? What? Grief ahead? Yep. Or tears ahead. Oh, usually, uh, when we're about to get slapped in the ass. But, but on this stream. Uh, on this stream? About half an hour ago. Disasters are gone after the defeat of Gravelord's servant. Yeah, so the person with that Gravelord sign got killed at some point. Good. Fuck them. That's a cool sword. 
I don't know where it is. That I don't know. Is that Dante sword from Devil May Cry? I don't know. Like, what? Oh, it kinda looks like oh it. it's that pup. <laughs> it's the pup. Doggo. Why is he so big? It's a big doggo. That gif made me believe he was much smaller. He remembers. Lick me. Oh, so he like feels bad he has to kill me now? I think that's the idea. This is such a badass idea for a fight. It's just a big ass dog with a sword. Yeah, so if we hadn't done the DLC first, he would just grab the sword and fight us. Oh my god, fucking Link and Smash over here. Yeah, right. It's, it's fucking pop. Oh. He's limping. Don't do that. It makes me feel bad now. Goodbye, pupper. Alright. Is that it? Did he drop an item? Yeah. Yep. There should be a, another ring. Yep, corner yep. ring. Yep. Yeah, so I'll run to that area if you want to help me fight him. Yeah, I'll put my sign down outside the door if you... Or you want me to head forward a little bit and... Yeah, you can just put your sign down by the boss fog door. Okay. It will be on the tip of the bridge. They must get through me. In the event that I'm invaded, I'll just touch your sign and immediately go into the boss arena. Here, while we're waiting, actually. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Okay. There's a pup on stream. Yeah. He's a good boy. Who's a good dog? Who's a good Summoned you. What was that? Summoned you. Oh, okay. Alright, there we go. Dog cameo. Yeah. I figured we could have a good dog and a sad dog. Where's the dog? Hello. Hello. What? What is that? Hello. So you know that I'm sorry carving that you got? Yeah. That's basically what hello. it is. <laughs> what does it do? It just says hello. 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 Wait. Gotta find the other ones. There it is. Help me. Just gonna get the item first. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. You have to look at my shirt for a second. There. Pupper. 
Oh, I didn't know you would skip it. Sorry. Yep. Didn't stand a chance. Ow. Oh. Not done anything uh, at the start of the fight. I didn't even realize. Okay. Get him, doggo. Why are you cheering for the pop? I'm the one who's gonna die. Cause he's lifting. Now he's dead. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Goodbye, bro. Oh. wanted to bone out the bone sound Homeward bone use yes all right and I think I have a couple of those solo whatever's boss souls in particular. If you feed them to Frampt, they give you more souls. Alright. Real quickly, oh, I'm going to get it about 3,000 experience and then... Because that'll get me my second level up. Whereas I think if you feed Frampt, like, soul items, then he doesn't give you as much as they would give you if you just popped them. That's weird. <clears throat> Bloodborne had a system like that, but it gave you the, the amount, right? I think so. Uh, wait, okay, hang on. I'm gonna go to Firelink Shrine real quick. Yep. Because then I'm gonna talk to uh, Big Teeth Guy. Eat my shit. Hello, is it something urgent? Yes. Framped, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Kill more bosses. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Your physical body did not match up with anything you said. I am pleased to see you well. Is it? Uh, I can feed him the chunk, the shards and chunks, right? I don't need those, right? Yeah. Those just break them down into their smaller components. So, oh. like, it would turn a large shard into a small shard and stuff like that. Gotcha. So what do you think would be good to feed them? Just like equipment and stuff I don't use? Yeah, duplicate equipment, stuff like that.
this point, I think I'm going to focus on my, uh, my strength. That way I can use my shield as a shield. I don't know if that changes that at all. What? I thought you said I needed to get to 50 strength to, uh, to one-hand it. Oh, like that. I thought you meant, like, it would increase how much block damage. Oh, no, no, no. I meant to use my shield as, like, a shield, you know? Yeah, then you would need level 50. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so where to now? You'll want to go from Firelink pretty much down to the elevator to the new Londo ruins. So down the elevator? Yeah, from like the bonfire, there should be a kind of walkway down there. Spiraling walkway. transient curse should look like a hand yep got Thank four you. of those yep. those will come important Oh yeah, you had mentioned this place before. You were like, yeah, that's definitely not a good zone to be in right now. Early game, not really. Although you can make like a suicide run to get a bonfire keeper soul, which is handy, but it's a suicide run. Yeah. Oh. But now we have stats. <laughs> now we beefy boys. Big number. So, across the bridge, at the very end, there should be some ghost enemies. And they can only be damaged if you have the transient curse effect. So, before crossing the bridge, you'll probably want to use one of them. then you don't have to worry about it running out, but being cursed also halves your HP, so that's kind of a problem. Yeah. So transient curse gives you the benefits of curse with none of the downsides? Yep. It just goes away after like a minute or two, so. Oh, so when I stop glowing white, I'll be... If you have it on your, like, hot bar, and like available once it lights up again. Ah, gotcha. You know you can use it. I'm so glad I one shot all of them. Yep. I like items. We'll go get the item. PvP only activates once you affect the level in a certain way, so for the first little bits, you can't really summon me. Ah. Uh, that lady screamed. Is that a problem? I don't think it's a problem. Alright. Alright. 
Going through the fog. Curses. Yep. Also, this thing has not run out yet. It takes a little bit. Although, it running out at an inopportune moment is kind of why some people might consider being cursed instead of, you know, hoping that it doesn't run out when you're fighting like six of them. Yeah, that's true. shitty little hands through the door. <laughs> yeah, this area is a lot tougher when you don't have the gear and stats to just take hits from the ghosts. Yeah. Up the stairs or into the tower? I think into the tower. I'm just killing some ghosts in my game. Contraption does not move. It's locked. You need a key. <clears throat> yeah, there should be a building where you can go up a ladder, get a key from a guy to do that. I think it's the big church looking building. All the windows on the top. take very little damage, yeah. Yeah, so you'll want to get inside of that building. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Yeah, I think you can drop in, like, through the windows, although there is a bunch of enemies inside, so... Too late. And there should be a ladder inside of that room. In this room? Yep. Or at least inside of that building somewhere. There should be, like, a big open room somewhere. Yeah, I think to the left. Oh, there we go. 
there should be a guy up at the very top there. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have he looks the Lord Vessel. Yeah. Very, I know it's like a certain set of armor used to wear. <laughs> exactly. The four king of slumber. You hold the dark party hollow if you could. All right, there we go. Got the key. Goodbye. Do I keep talking to him or am I good? You're good for now. Although he does sell transient curses in the event that you need more. Although, I think you have like, what, 10? Uh, 14 right now. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Yeah, so now you'll want to go back to that contraption. Okay. I think so, at least. I think now I can be summoned, so I'll place my sign kind of in that elevator room. Okay. We'll see if that opens up. Hey. So for the boss of the zone, we'll need to equip the ring that we got from Sif. Uh, which one was that? The, I think it's, what is it called? Like Abyssal Ring or something like that. I'll check the items. Uh, Covenant of Artorius Ring. All right. Avil's Ring for Artorius Ring. We don't need it yet. When we eventually fight the boss. Oh, gotcha. Oh, hey, a guy died. Cool. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll drop into the boss room and just immediately die. Oh, well, that's not good. It's not cash money. <laughs> I should probably change my covenant back so I can use my healing miracles. Next time. said it's the boss and, I, and then you walked away and I was like oh no not the boss oh skelly boy in like an upcoming area, but not much. Uh, 
that's not good. That's the boss room. Hmm. Baxter. Adam. Yeah, so now would be a good time to equip the ring. Heavy boy now. That's fine. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. The boss fight doesn't immediately start. But... Large Souls Shard. Vanity. Got a lot of that. Yeah, so that's all of the big four bad bosses. Okay. Now I just have to do it. <laughs> Alright, uh... 
Uh, so... Uh, where should I warp to then? Question mark? Uh, back to Firelink, and then I can summon you. Okay. At New Londo. Yeah, if you want to put your sign, basically... Kind of where you fought the first ghosts. Okay. Oh, I can put it on that ring for now. Oh, well, no, we're about to head to the boss room, right? So... Yeah. Might as well just keep it equipped. Also summon Yuria the Witch, or Beatrice the Witch, the summon that we had for the Moonlight Butterfly fight. And if she's anything like in that fight, then I'd love to see her just eviscerate the Four Kings. <laughs> at that like halfway check mark place so like it's right after the entrance past the guys but it's before the big bridge that leads to them okay before the big bridge yeah i see it Such a slow boy. Is this just like cheater boy shortcut land? Uh, once you empty all the water, then you can access this. Oh, okay. Whereas when it's flooded, then, well, it's flooded. Inaccessible. Yeah. Makes sense. summon sign is around here. I'll just look. Yep, there it is. Whoa! Did you just see what he did? Nope. Okay, so he was in the corner over there. He, his, literally, his, his model just glided across the floor to us. <laughs> yep. Back. I hear, like, stomping around. What is that? Maybe it's my armor. I don't know. 
No, it's like a like a giant walking around noise. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we could technically just walk off, but there is a slight chance that we might land on something mm -hmm. and take fall damage. Best to just walk to the end. Oh, I thought I'd fall off. <laughs> I mean... There we go. Have, have you uh, ever had a glitch where, like, you died from this, like, from fall damage or something? Uh, from this? No. Only happens if you're not wearing the ring. Why is it always going for me? Alright, here we go. for that last guy. Oh, there he is. Got this wrong. <sighs> uh, uh, uh. Cross counter. Nice. It's weird that we don't have to kill all four of them. We just have to deal enough damage to make the meter go down. There's a weird thing where if you attack, kind of as they're fading away, mm -hmm. kind of like in Bloodborne, where if you attack afterwards, you gain more health. Oh, you can do extra damage as they're fading away. So if you do enough damage, you can only fight three of them. Ah, nice. Okay, so now I can uh, unequip the Artorius rank. Uh, once you, yeah. As long as you're not in the abyss. There we go. Yeah, because I got 120,000 subs, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go take care of those. How many bosses are left? We fought like what, four or five today? In the game total, there is three bosses left for us to fight. Nice. And that's including final? Yep. Nice. I guess yeah, that uh, once, I, once I go back and take care of this, I'll go ahead and end off the stream then. Mm -hmm. That way, part 10 can be the final. There's two optional bosses and then the final boss. 
then we'll take care of the optionals and then the final. Yeah, sadly, you can't just beat the final and then clean up everything after that. Once you beat the final boss, it kind of forces you into New Game Plus. Yeah, it makes sense, though. I get it. I, I, would, I would want it. I would want the final boss to be the final boss anyway. More cool that way, you know. Yeah, I can see that. I got items and stuff, right? I can drop some shit. You hungry, friend? <laughs> yes. I require souls. Ready for this one? Eat dinner. Whatever the fuck dinner is tonight. So, I need about 13,000, so I'm hoping when I go to fucking Teeth Guy over here, he can eat shit to give me that. Maybe some boss souls. Oh, is it is it cool to give no, him boss no. souls? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. If well, you don't want to make weapons awake. out of them, then not treat me like an old souls withering snake. Well, I'm probably good with just this for the rest of the game then, right? So, yeah. I am pleased is um, okay. So Oh man, these are <laughs> these are fucking beefy. I like these. Although smog's only worth one. <laughs> Alright, so uh the soul of the moonlight butterfly and all that, I don't need those. Probably not. Couldn't uh, see you eating them. What about uh the Guardian Solar Soul of Man Ass? I will, never not, I will never Don't. not call it man ass. <laughs> man ass. Don't think you need guardian soul. Manus can give you sorceries, which I don't think you really need. And then all the soul of whoever I can get rid of. Yeah. Although the smaller ones you probably want to just consume in the menu. Like yeah. the Proud Knight, Soul of a Name, Soldier, stuff like that. Yeah. Get a better value that way. What about the coins? Do I need those? Nah, those are just to be sold. Yeah, a small little boost there. What about Prism Stones? Uh, those were those glowy things that you saw in the abyss. Oh, I don't need those then, right? Yeah, they're just a neat little thing to kind of leave on the floor as a breadcrumb trail. Why, why are dung pies so, like, they're worth money? <laughs> Eat that right. poop. <laughs> Eat that poop poop. What about sunlight metals? I don't think you'll ever join in the sunlight covenant, so... I'll never get to praise the sun, then? Bleed it. Farewell. Alright. Now let's go. Let's go level the fuck up. Didn't mean to do that. That probably really hurt. Uh, okay. Toggle display. Oh, the durability is good. Oh, that's four level ups right there.
But yeah, I think I think I'm good for now then. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end off the stream there. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh -huh.